Hi, I'm Tim from the Heresy Group. Um, long story short, the other night I was doing a live stream with Richie over on Instagram. Me and Richie do a lot of live streams over there. We do a lot of content. Uh, if you do want to go and follow me over on uh, Instagram, you can do it. It's Tim underscore the Heresy Group. And the same as Richie, it's Richie underscore the Heresy Group. We were talking about slings, and there's a lot of people out there that buy one sling and they swap it between their weapons. They just kind of use that as one platform. So interestingly, Richie said to me, so what do you do with your sling setup? And I said, look, I've got like three slings that I jump and, you know, uh, will bounce between sometimes it's down to flavor of the month other things it is purely down to a uh, tactical usage or what weapon I'm using some suit uh, some of the weapons I have better and some others don't so I'll just go through what I've got here I've got the Magpul MS3 um, traditional 2.1 point sling uh, I use this a lot when I'm doing drills and stuff with the 416 um, that's kind of all I use this for I don't really use it when I'm out at an event um, at the events, these are the two that I jump between. I've got the claw gear um, with the snap hooks. Uh, and this is in their kind of brownie tan color. As you can see, you've got them cute, you know, them snap hooks, and they're nicely covered as well, so they don't rattle around, they don't make any noise, they're not gonna damage or scratch your gun. Uh, and I will go through exactly how this functions. Um, and then moving on from there, I've got the Blue Force Gear Vickers Sling. And on the end of this, I have the wire loop attachments. So interestingly enough, uh, different attachment points on all three slings. Uh, here we've got these kind of traditional Magpul snap hooks that are super battered by now. Um, they've lost a bit of plastic off them, they've had a lot of wear and tear, uh, still work well, still you know as a sling, as a platform works incredibly well but it has had a batter in that one the most, uh, purely because of the amount of training I do, whether it's um, just ready up drills, high ready drills, low ready drills, um, primary to secondary, mag change, all that lot, this is the one I tend to do it for and a lot of the time I do train with the 416, those drills. Moving across then, the uh, claw gear sling. This is the one that I like the most. Out of the design of all three, um, this one really does fit me the most. It's got the quick detach at the end, so you know if this is at the long end of the gun and you've got this uh, end at the stock end, which is normally the way it works for me, then you, know, you can quickly detach that and you are out of the sling, which I really like. The rest of the other two um, don't have that feature. They don't have the capability of just being able to bounce the weapon down onto the ground nice and easy. Um, they do all work on this traditional sort of pull to slide to make bigger or pull to slide to make smaller. Again, you've got the handle there on the MS3, uh, this loop of material. Uh, moving away from that design, I guess the other two are a little bit different and they, they kind of work the same. You've got the Vickers here and it's got this kind of heavy kind of cotton style uh, pull handle. Now the material difference between the two is that the, uh, especially the claw gear and the Vickers, is the Vickers is a much more cotton orientated, heavier duty material. Um, now not necessarily is that stronger, but it's definitely harder to slide that open and to slide it closed than you get with the claw gear. The claw gear is this kind of much thinner, nylon, more plastic feeling uh, base material and it really does help that expansion slide open and slide close much easier. They both have this material based pull handle. The thing I do like about the claw gear as well is that claw gear have this kind of rubber insert that goes through here. So it means that you can't squash this handle flat. It's a very stiff handle to grip, grab. And then when you're left hand or right hand, depending on what side I'm shooting, and sometimes I run these slings as if I've just picked my gun up. Um, so on my practice, I can you know extend right hand, I can extend left hand. Um, whatever I need to do, I can do that by definitely definitely find that the claw gear extends and expands out much, much easier um, and, and much quicker. Obviously with the three different attachment points really does depend. Um, and again, sling setup, um, where you place the sling on the weapon, what attachment points you use, what length you have it, what material you like, two point, single point, you know, and it, with a single point, is it single point that's up and around your neck and under? Um, kind of like this, I'll show you. Um, you know, do you like to, some people like to run their slit, their single point, so in, in a single point configuration under their arm, like so. You see a lot of guys like this, and you can obviously grab that uh, and extend this right out, or you can pull that nice and tight. Um, 
You can run this single point. I've seen other guys that run their single point high and up and around their neck, um, like so. So their gun sort of hangs in the middle of their body, which I'm really not a fan of. Um, if you need to kneel, if you need to crouch, if you need to crawl, you have to hold that up. Whereas, you know, with the dual points, if you need to kneel, crouch, crawl, it lays across the middle of your, of your, your kind of belly. Uh, the reason why I do like running a single point configuration like this, if I'm doing any training, is purely because when I lift the weapon up like so, and it's attached to the back of the weapon when I I'm going for magazines which are kind of lower abdomen for me um, it's it's nice and clear whereas sometimes with this if this is going to the tail end of the stock the bottom of the sling can cut across the body um, so you know for me this is kind of an efficient one uh, for practicing mag change drills and stuff like that just placing that back up there so really does depend on you know you personally um, for me I really like the claw gear slings if you haven't seen the claw gear slings I know that not very many people have heard of them or seen them you can check them out on the claw gear website tons of versatility tons of colors uh, tons of different attachment points uh, I know a lot of guys use ferro um, and the slickster and, and, and their slings and they, again they're super super popular lots of guys use them for me um, I've just come across these three I like them these are the ones I use I'm not going to go and spend more money uh, on slings I feel like I've got enough versatility here the other thing to mention I guess uh, about the Vickers is obviously the padding on this I'm just going to take it off here you can see how heavy it is in comparison to the other two by how much that just moved but there is a real nice big thick heavy shoulder pad um, on this if you do want to you know see how potentially that's going to go we've got attached to the gun in front and then you can see that pad really does cover a lot of the back and I do like that um, the fact that the pad is so big I have seen some other slings and they have a much much smaller pad more like this size doesn't really give you much uh, of a strain protection and I, I run this a lot more with my scar my scar is a much larger weapon a lot longer um, and, and this padding just sometimes help takes a little bit of that weight away so Super, super happy with all three, um, but hands down my favourite at the moment is the claw gear. I just find it a little bit more slick, a little bit more easy to use. If you do have any questions about these particular slings or slings that you run, any recommendations, if you have any advice from me on slings to look at, please make sure you put all that information in the comments box below. We have a ton of videos coming soon, in the works, being filmed, uh, that are going to be coming to the channel soon. If there is anything that you want to see, if there's anything you want us to review, if there's any questions or anything like that that you want us to bring to the channel then please make sure it's all in the comments box below we'll go through it and we'll try our absolute best to bring it to the channel uh, more information from us if you want to check it out you can again follow us over on instagram it's tim underscore the heresy group or richie underscore the heresy group we are active on facebook we have a lot of content that goes through onto our facebook page again facebook.com forward slash the heresy group and if you do want to go and check out our channel you can do that on the heresy group.com so thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you all soon